Hi everybody. Today I'm in Altausi, which is this beautiful lake over there. And a nice village just uh, next to it. Altausi is about a 30 minute drive from Hallstatt and it's beautiful. Let's check it out. What's really amazing here is these rock formations. They're limestone and I read that their age is Triassic and Jurassic. They're quite majestic. So I've arrived here at the lake now. It's really beautiful. Let's check it out. Alright, check out this uh, amazing view behind me. You got a really nice panorama for all of Alta Estate here. Yeah? So beautiful. It's a quiet day today. It's a little bit windy, but uh, not too bad. Alta Estate is also a municipality that is uh, known for salt mining and uh, it has a rich history of salt mining that goes back into the Iron Ages. But the more recent history of the last century was... It's one of the sites where the Monument Man movie played that came out a few years ago. Uh, the extensive complex of salt mines in Altasse served as a huge repository for the art that was stolen by the Nazis. It was when the US Army came in in 1945, a US infantry unit uh, seized the artwork that uh, was stolen. You can actually visit the salt mines today. Um, the entrance is 19 euros, about 24 dollars. You can take a one or two hour tour up in the mountains behind me and uh, I heard it's quite cool. I've seen some of these salt mines uh, so I'm not going to do that today. Um, but uh, if you have never actually been to one of those salt mines I highly recommend doing that. It's quite an experience. So how do you get to Altausee? Um, the best way to get here is probably from Salzburg. If you're in the area and uh, you want to check out uh, Hallstatt, then it's really only a half an hour drive from Hallstatt to come here. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful drive. I might 
post a separate uh, video on that soon um, because it's just that the, the scenery is just beautiful. But you can also come directly from Salzburg um, and uh, it's gonna take you about one hour, one and a half hours to get here. What's nice about these locations is it's not only destination that counts, it's really also the journey there that is just so beautiful. Altose is famous for its fresh air. It uh, has a reputation uh, to be a climatic spa. People come here already for two centuries and it's really the fresh air that draws them here. If you plan to come to Altausee, definitely take a walk through the village. All these beautiful old farmhouses are just really magnificent. And they're also well maintained. There's flowers everywhere. It's just a really serene atmosphere here. Very quiet. Some ponies over here. Yeah. I'm making my way down to the church area, which is historically the central part of every village. That's where all the congregations happened and probably are still happening today. This is the pathway to the Loserhütte and the Loserhütte is all the way up here. I don't know if you can see that, that red thing here. It's quite far. It's a two and a half hour hike. That's the Lose here, that big uh, rock formation, quite iconic. And this is clearly a very nice uh, vacation destination for those who like hiking, who like nature, who like lakes, and who like fresh air. So if you're in the area, make sure you come to Alta Ose and check that out. So everywhere in Austria you find those fresh water fountains. This is crystal clear mountain water. Quite strong. Very refreshing, very nice. That was a very nice walk. As you can see, Altese is beautiful.
All right, that was it for today. If you like this uh, video, please uh, give me a thumbs up down below and leave me a comment. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.